In today's video, we're gonna dive into why I'm a professional driver and why I just don't think I'm a professional driver. We're in Las Vegas, victory lane for Fox Television. Ricky Bobby, today's big winner, a heck of a win for you today, but it seems as you can either win or crash the car trying to win. Well, Dick, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence, yeah, and yeah, nobody can hang with my stuff. Uh, you know, I'm just a... It's a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, the you're last. kind of good there, you know, my guy. You know what I'm talking about? That phrase is trademarked. Not that phrase for Ricky Bobby. They didn't see nothing. Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, you know? Come on now. Anyway, this is going to be a long video of me just talking. So if you don't want to hear me talk, fucking dip. <laughs> In today's video, we're going to dive into why I'm a professional driver and why I just don't think I'm a professional driver. I'm, I'm kind of tired of having to talk about it. I know there's a lot of new people on the channel and there's a lot of OGs on here as well that know why I'm a professional driver and a lot of new people that don't know why and just think that I think that I'm a professional driver. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get right to it. So just because I have a large YouTube platform, just because I'm a good driver does not make me a professional driver. Let's let's get that understood first and foremost. I just don't think that I'm a professional driver. I am a professional driver. That's just like saying someone that's went to school for being a doctor and graduated and got their degree isn't a doctor because they haven't saved a life or some shit like that. You guys gotta use your brain, okay? I've been to driving schools, graduated from driving schools, so what is that? What? It's, come on now. <laughs> That's like saying just because you've graduated from there and got your certificates and degrees doesn't make you a professional. <sighs> so doctors are doctors? <laughs> Like, come on now, you gotta make sense. At least when you wanna argue that I'm not a professional driver, come with some knowledge, come with some sense, come with some some actual information that's gonna lead to me not being a professional driver. I had to take these off of my wall just to be able to show you guys. What does that say? Certificate of completion, driving school. And this is, what was this level? This is level two, all right? <laughs> So I didn't just go to one little driving school and complete one little course and think I'm a driver, okay? Did it twice. You see what I'm saying? Did it twice. Right here is what makes me a professional driver. And that's not everything that makes me a professional driver. I'm sure there's a lot of people that have their own opinion on what a professional driver is. Like if you compete and you got first place, that makes you a professional. There's a lot of different reasons people think that other people are professional drivers or people saying, oh, I drive better than you, so I'm a professional driver too, huh? No, dumbass. <laughs> you gotta go to school, get the certificates, complete the courses, go through what I went through and what all the other people have had to go through to become a professional driver, okay? I didn't just label myself a professional driver. That's like, oh, I'm strong, so I'm the Hulk. Like, no, dumbass. <laughs> Come on now. Also, to become a professional in pretty much any type of field, you gotta put in your 10,000 hours. If you haven't heard of the 10,000 hour rule, then you're you're not smart. <laughs> you haven't done your research, you don't know what the fuck is going on. So if you've completed your 10,000 hours, you're pretty much a professional. So if you've done your due, due, due diligence, due, due gil I can't fucking talk. Due gil okay, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> If you haven't done your due diligence, ah, fuck, due diligence, ah, I can't, I can't say that word, but you know what I'm trying to say. I, I, <laughs> I graduated from driving schools, okay? I didn't graduate from high school. It's, it, there's a difference. Due diligence. Oh, well, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, and I get that there's a lot of people out there that just want to be trolls or they'll comment trying to get a comment back from me. Like they just want to talk to me. So they'll say some stupid shit to try to make me comment back. And then they'll be like, oh my God, I didn't know you were gonna reply. I love your videos so much. Like that is not a way to get someone's attention. And that's not a way to become a friend of someone. If you're gonna talk shit, you already have to be a friend of them. <laughs> you can't just leave a comment talking about, oh, you're not a professional driver. You hit a wall one time. Name one professional driver, professional. You can even throw in formula drift drivers. Name one formula drift driver that hasn't tapped the wall and then came back. I bet you couldn't give me one single name that hasn't crashed. Ken Block's crashed, Ryan Turk's crashed, Von Gittin Jr.'s crashed. Every single person has crashed. 
and there's a reason that they have cracks is because they were giving maximum effort and giving their full potential because once you push those limits like that and especially in driving or sports anything that has to do with like high pressure situations or situations where you can get injured or crash like that it's gonna happen at least one time if you haven't crashed before then you haven't gone to your full potential and you don't know if you're a good driver or not <laughs> just because i tapped the wall before doesn't make me a bad driver and just because that i've stayed away from walls doesn't make me a good driver okay all of the ups and downs are what makes you a good or a bad driver if i were to hit a wall and then got the car fixed and then went out like within the next couple of events and then hit another wall and then got it fixed and then went out and hit another wall then i okay <laughs> then i would accept the bad driver label within the i don't know five years that i've owned this car it's been in three accidents no four accidents one where a driver hit me to stop me from doing donuts and leaving the scene we'll talk about that in the uh the new podcast hello podcast is coming out make sure you guys stay tuned for that a bunch of funny ass stories coming out on there but yeah one time where a driver hit me to stop me from doing donuts the second one was uh up in the mountains of mexico i tapped the uh tapped the tree stump a little bit that wasn't too bad at all the third one was when someone smacked the front of me when they were turning from the left lane that's on youtube as well if you guys want to go check that out and then the fourth one where i smacked the wall at the uh track takeover three when i was tandem in with tone you know that's that's not too bad of a track record for five years of drifting this thing i know tons of people that try to get into drifting they'll buy a car maybe a full drift car something that's a lot easier to slide than this big ass boat and they'll go out there and they'll wrap their shit and then they'll give up it's like you, you can't give up if you want to become a certain level of driver or just a certain level in general no matter what you're doing sports anything you're gonna have to fail and you're gonna have to try again you're not just gonna be fucking 100 percent all the time and never make any mistakes that doesn't happen you're not perfect i'm not perfect no one's perfect so it always comes down to trial and error pushing yourself going to school getting those completions and performing and getting better and better and better as soon as i completed this driving school and went through the courses and got the certificates i could have labeled myself a professional driver but i didn't it took me i don't know yeah these don't even have a date on them but I think I did these in like 2018, something like that, 2019. So it's been how many years since then? I've gone to events, all type of shit to prove how good of a driver I am. And once again, just because you're a good driver does not necessarily mean that you're a professional. Get that, get that in your head, okay guys? Just because I'm good doesn't mean that I'm a professional. Because I have certificates and I've gone to schools means that I'm a professional, okay? And you can't argue with that. If you go to college and you get your degree and you graduate and do all those things, you're going to be what you went to school for, obviously. It's kind of crazy that I even have to explain this, but I know there's tons of trolls on the internet that just want comments back. They, and I get it, I have a large YouTube platform, all this, blah, 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 blah. That's not why I know I'm a professional. You see what I'm saying? I have a lot of friends that are extremely good at driving, probably better driving than I am, but they haven't completed the certain certifications to become a professional. You see what I'm saying? Like you have to do these certain steps to get to where you wanna go. Just because you're a really great driver or you're better than someone doesn't mean that you're necessarily a step above. That's like saying, oh, he's an orthodontist, but I can pull a tooth better than him. So I'm an orthodontist. No. <laughs> No, <laughs> not at all, sorry sir. Let's get back to people commenting, just trying to get a comment back. That's not the way to go, guys, especially because if you say something negative or some shit that's gonna like try to roast me or something, it's easy to do over the internet. But if you see me in person, you'd be like, oh, hey, what's up, Jensen? What's going on, man? I love your videos. And not say anything negative not coming me any type of sideways or anything like that. Not saying that there's people that won't do that, but pretty much 99% of the people that leave comments on YouTube talking shit are not gonna say a motherfucking thing in person. I'm a little white boy, so there's obviously not any intimidation involved, but people still don't talk shit in person. It's really easy to leave comments on YouTube, social media, shit like that, because you know you're not gonna get the repercussions that you would 
if you were to say it in person. There's a lot of people that go day to day thinking like, oh, I'm gonna comment this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something negative and I'm not gonna have anything in return, but that karma is gonna double back on you one way or another. So always try to remain positive, always try to be positive, never do shit negative, never do something that you don't want to have happen to you. Remember that golden rule back in school? Treat others how you wanna be treated or however the fuck it went. You gotta apply that to real life and social media, okay? Social media is obviously social media. It's not necessarily real to a certain extent. I know there's a lot of cappers, a lot of fakers and shit like that, but that's one thing I don't do. I don't lie, okay? I don't make up stories just to be able to post content, shit like that. And that's kind of what's wrong with a lot of this generation is they're, they'll lie, they'll do a bunch of shit just for attention, which doesn't make sense. Like if you're a genuine person, you do everything the right way, you're gonna get the same amount of feedback as doing some shit that's not necessarily right, you know? And you could use me as an example. I'm never mean to anybody. I'm never mean to anyone. I'm never negative. You'll never ever catch me leaving a hate comment on someone's page. Like that's just some shit that I don't do. And that's some shit that you shouldn't do either if you're doing it. I know there's a lot of people that don't do that. There's a lot of genuine fans, a lot of genuine people out there as well, but if you're one of those people that like to leave hate comments for no reason, like just to try to get a response or to try to get likes, it, it doesn't make sense. Like you look like a loser at the end of the day, especially because you're using like a private page that doesn't have any followers, any subscribers, and it definitely doesn't have a picture of you. <laughs> so at the end of the day, remain positive, you know, push positive shit. Don't be negative, don't be mean. I might sound like a pussy right now, but you know, you gotta be, you gotta be nice. <laughs> you gotta be nice, you know? Being negative, being mean, all that type of shit, it's not gonna get you anywhere. But that's pretty much the end of my rant. <laughs> I just had to bring out my little certificates of completions and shit like that real quick and explain why I'm a professional driver and tell you guys to stop leaving hate comments and shit and talk about shit that you don't know what you're talking about, you know? But at the end of the day, I love all you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, thumbs up, all that shit. Still waiting on my fucking email back from GeForce. They're, they're leaving me on red. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's pissing me off because I don't even want to promote their products. I don't even want their shit on my car at this point because now they're keeping me from events and keeping me from driving this car. So as soon as I get an email back from GeForce, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I'm still waiting on parts for the Drip Cat. But now I got to go ship some merch. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Doses. <laughs>